What's up guys, it's Aparicio and today I'm going to be showing you how to track an object to a wall uh, in DaVinci Resolve, of course, while the camera is moving. So let's go ahead and dive into that. It's not too hard. You just kind of practice it every once in a while, you know, and it'll become kind of second nature to you. It'll, it'll stick in your brain. This is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to go open DaVinci, go ahead and drag your clip in. I'm gonna take the audio off, kind of annoys me. All right, and then trim it up. Okay, I'm gonna start it here. And right there is good. I'm gonna stabilize it. No, I'm not gonna stabilize it. The tracking will do its job, and it'll kind of track no matter the kind of shakiness I've got on this. All right, so I have the playhead hovering over this clip. Let me bring it to the beginning of the timeline. And then go ahead and to your fusion page right here. Go on over. Okay, we have our media in one, media out one. And if you want to preview the clip going into the fusion page, go ahead and hit one over um, after clicking on media in one. One on your keyboard, of course. And then if you hit two on the media out, you'll be able to preview your clip going out back into the edit page. Sweet. Let's go ahead and click media in one, then hit shift space to pull up our node search. And we're gonna go to planner tracker, add it. Okay, you see we have our planner tracker here, firmly connected in between media in one and media out one. And now what we're gonna do is, if you see here, we're gonna be able to click where we want the planner tracker to put tracking points. So you're just gonna draw a little square on the wall and then you can adjust it after you point them out and then you kind of want it to put it you know to match whatever the perspective is so you see the how I'm following the guidelines on the wall now we're gonna have a perfect kind of perspective of whatever I put on this wall for the tracking points it's not too important but I just do it anyway so you're going to put the playhead here to the beginning, the first frame. At least the first frame that you want to start tracking. In my case, it's the very first frame of the clip. And then we're going to hit set up here at the top right. I'm going to set the point, set the, set the reference time. And now we're going to click here to track to end. I'm going to track this part of the wall all the way to the end of the clip. You could stop it whenever you'd like, but I'm going to track all the way to the end. All right, now let's look through this. Nice, we have all these tracking points here that tracked on that part of the wall. Very nice. Now keep in mind that the, you know, the higher the contrast, the better the tracking. So think about what do you think text would track better on? Uh, a blank white piece of paper or a checkerboard? So, okay, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is, we are going to go right here, operation mode, and we're gonna hit corner pin, okay? We have our tracking point set. Now let's go ahead and set this up. Now remember to accurately put this box here in the correct perspective. Try to follow guidelines within the shot. You know, leading lines. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that perfect box. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and bring in the logo we're going to track onto this wall or whatever object you're going to track, like whatever image. Let's drag it in. In this case, it is going to be a variation of my logo. All right, so you're gonna put it into the little foreground point on this node, on the planner tracker node. Gonna hit this, and just drop it on top of the foreground. Boom, let's watch that. All right, so as you can see, we tracked it very well. Da Vinci had no problem with that, zero. Now you might be saying, Aparicio, this looks really boring. This looks like what you can do is go ahead and click media in two and then click shift spacebar again. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and type in drop shadow. It'll already appear before you're done, if you type it right. Drop shadow, we're gonna hit add. Oh my God, we just spiced it up, okay? Drop shadow. Now you come up here to the top right, you have shadow strength, you have drop angle, you have drop distance, and you have blur. Now, you kinda wanna match this to whatever the conditions are outside, all right? So shadow strength, obviously the harsher the sunlight is, time of day, the more strength you're gonna put there. It's kinda cloudy out for me, so I'm gonna put like a little below half. And then the angle, the light, is obviously coming from the right side. So you wanna put the angle, kinda angle it behind, or in our case, to the left. And then the distance, you can't go too far, because you see right here, it starts to cut off. So have it realistic. Right there is good. And then the blur, it's pretty cloudy out. So I'm gonna put my blur pretty high. So my blur is gonna be pretty high. All right, and now we play that back. Look at that. We have a tracked object, perfectly tracked image to the wall. I think it looks phenomenal. Now say we wanted to kind of make this look a little more realistic. Click right here where it says color corrector. Hit that. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the gain down right here. Since it's a little more cloudy, we're just gonna drop it a little bit to kind of match the outside. And then boom, we have a, a perfectly tracked, a beautiful shadow and we, we, we dimmed it down a little bit just so it feels a little bit more natural. And to be honest, that looks, that looks very real. And there we go. And then we go back to the edit page, come here, play it. It's just, it's beautiful. Guys, come on. I hope you found that helpful. If you did find it helpful, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe if you want, of course if it helped you. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.